Well, we're back. We're back with the Gleaner. I feel like the Gleaner needs a name. Oh. <laughs> Okay, day six. I don't know, I've lost count. It is cool and rainy in North Carolina. 67. It was in the low 60s this morning. We're getting more rain. We've had uh, almost an inch, well, we've had like an inch and a half this week. And um, I'm gonna go see what's going on. I think he's got to order a part, but until he gets it, he's gonna plug what was wrong with the leak. And then we're gonna try to get this bad boy cranked. Also, while I'm at it, this amazing shirt in support of the National FFA Convention and Expo can be yours for $12.99 at your local tractor supply starting uh, the last week in August. Actually, I think some stores already have them. So, go get you one. All the proceeds go to the FFA. Yay, tractor supply. If I wasn't holding the phone, I would clap. So, clapping. Okay. Here. Anyway. Where's your father? That always makes me think, Luke, I'm your father. No. Oh, sorry. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> ah, how's it going? Do you need an extra pair of hands? The cat got your tongue? What are y'all doing? Everybody's feeling frisky today because it's all cool outside. I know, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, Clara. <laughs> I don't think Gus is feeling it. Look at those pretty brown eyes. Yes, he's a pretty boy. Handsome boy. Handsome fella, Gus is. Clara. Clara's pretty too. leaking but still <sighs> feels good now he's tinkering with a belt that's pushed out a little bit or something but nothing major so we'll see what's next I really don't know right now I'll come back when I do it's a beautiful Sunday I just got out of church 
And now we're at the local flea market taco stand where my girl is getting lunch, her favorite. It is pretty dang good. Good stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Your favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go home and eat and work some cows. We are on bird watch. My husband just realized that the bluebirds, mom and daddy bluebird are going kind of nuts around the their nest. And I went and checked just to make sure there wasn't a snake in it or anything, and there's not. There's just some baby birds that evidently it's time for them to leave. So we're gonna see if we can watch them. Never seen that before. And all the other birds are going nuts. They were out of food. Fed them. It's bird day. It's bird day. Still need to get rid of that bucket. They're talking up a storm. <laughs> The babies just are not, they're not coming out. <laughs> they're definitely ready. They're crammed in there like sardines. I mean, it's just birds everywhere. We've got Hummer Wars going on. Sunday fun day. It's funny. Oh. Anyway, Sunday fun day. Putting out some hay. No gleaner action today. We, um, I have a photo session this afternoon, well, this evening. I haven't done that in a while. I'm excited. I get to chase around some young, a young brother and sister on the farm and take their pictures. And we have a group of cows to get up. So we're going to do that and then hopefully get back to the gleaner tomorrow maybe. We've had almost two inches of rain. It's a little muddy. I haven't really seen that in a while so that's good. It's not a bad thing. We have beans that are ready to be cut that we're going to cut for hay so hopefully we get to do that maybe mid to late week. couldn't hold the phone and do what we did but anyway we just ran these cows through the chute and dewormed them off pour on now they're going out follow that mule to the ends of the earth and back <laughs> feed is a wonderful thing Okay, well we got got that small group worked. Now <laughs> go pick up my son from the neighbors, get him to youth group, and get back and get my gear together for a session, photo session. I already said that though, didn't I? No lazy Sunday here today. But still a good one. The weather is amazing. Sure is clouding up though. I really wanted some sunshine tonight. Well, we're 
back. We're back with the Gleaner. I feel like the Gleaner needs a name. I'll have to work on that. I already have a Gus. Gus the dog. I need something with a G. Anyway, I digress. We are going to change heads. I'm going to take that one off. Put that new one on. See how this goes. These look very primitive to me. Like something from a, I don't know what. So we use that. Oh my gosh, it's so loud in here. We've got some wieners. That to move that from over there. That was fun. Okay, we got this. Got this on. What we gotta do? We gotta put that under there? Okay, so we got down there and we rolled that under there so that it'll be up, so that it'll hook on the gleaner easier. I mean, that's the thought anyway. Come on, baby. He's talking to himself, which means he's trying to figure out exactly what he's doing. I know that much. He's thinking. He's always thinking. 
And I'm just glad I'm not the only one that talks to myself. problems because I didn't understand exactly what he wanted me to do but I got it and now this trailer's being moved out so we can put the old head in here and um, I don't know there's like so many moving parts and it confuses me about which like which step is next but it's all good it's all good we have a little bit of concrete right here. So that is what the head that's on its now is gonna sit on. Somebody asked about that truck. I can't remember what he said. It's 1950 something. It was an old feed truck. And evidently it only needs one small thing to get it running. I can't remember what that is either. But anyway, I love using it for photography because it takes amazing pictures. <laughs> it's in a great background. farm life um, it's been a few days <laughs> and I had really wanted to show y'all the gleaner in action because we kind of thought maybe we were gonna try to take it out and what do you chop a little cut a little not chop combine a little is that the right word <laughs> of corn <laughs> to feed the cows but we haven't done that it's still really high in moisture not sure what we're gonna do we might just pick some to tide us over until it's really ready. So anyway, he's back mowing today. These little small fields around our house, this is what we had for our first cutting that everyone was so well and quick to point out was really crappy. Hey, yes, it's not great. 
<laughs> it's a lot of Johnson grass, which Johnson grass is not bad. There's not a ton of it though, but it needs to be cut. So we're cutting that and then we still got beans to cut and we're just waiting on the weather to get right. We've got a stretch. It looks like four days or so, four to seven days of sunshine, but there's this hurricane doing her thing, Dorian. So we're not sure what's going to happen. So that might really mess us up come the first part of the week. So he's laying this, these few fields down and we'll see what's next, whether it's beans or corn, I'm not sure, but I'll be sure to bring you along. So while he mows, I'm going to go mow. I'm going to go mow our yard, which actually needs to be mowed with that. If it was big enough to get, if that was small enough to get in the yard, that's what we need. Maybe I'll show you. See, I wasn't lying y'all. I was supposed to stay on top of it this time, but alas, I did not. It's not good y'all, it's just not good. I'm gonna have to go low and slow. So this isn't brisket, it's my yard. Spider webs, so many spider webs. Anyway. Okay, y'all. Well, maybe. Maybe I will not wait another two weeks plus two inches of rain to mow again because that was that was a bear. Look at there. That rhymes. Um, but it's done. And that's good. Also, in other news, I've come to the realization that I'm officially going to have to retire my boots. There's, there's no more help for him, and it's making me sad. So I had these resold a few months ago, and I was feeling good about it. And then, just yeah, this is this is what's happening. We have, I can stick my whole finger up there. There's no fix in that. There's no fix for that. Mm, real close to doing it over here. So, oldie goldies are about to be retired. They've been good. I sure wish Justin Boots would give me a sponsorship. That would be amazing. Anybody got any contacts? It's all I wear. And I'll be buying another pair. And I am Rhyme, Rhyme Time City right here. Okay. That's that. It is what it is. We, we go through boots and we have to replace them and that's life. That's all I got, y'all. I'm going to go. You know what? You know what I just remembered? It's almost time to feed my people and I haven't even, I have no plans. I have not taken any meat out. Nothing. I don't even have a taste for anything. I hate when that happens. Just drawing a blank. So anyway, I'm going to go figure that out. I'm going to catch you here next time. If you've made it through this one, thank you. I'm so excited that our gleaner's going. <laughs> Can't wait to see the see that baby run. Gil. What about Gil the gleaner? I don't know. If you have any great ideas, drop them below. Keep it clean. Okay. See you later. Next time.